is waiting there. <laughs> Crazy, sick, and me! Alright, so where do we leave off? Oh, I don't remember. That dude was overacting, but in a fun way. Ooh, puzzle on the bed. Skipping threes and skipping fives. Perhaps that's how one derives the answer to this wordy tale. But you won't win. You're bound to fail. So what's the trick with this one? Well, it's similar to the planet puzzle where we have to spell something out. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can see we start up there in the top left and our goal is the exclamation point in the middle. Mm -hmm. There are stars in space, but no spaces are allowed here. Only stars. And as Ego says, those little star symbols are our spaces for between words. And we can only move in three or five spaces. What does stop mean by threes and fives? Hmm. Okay. I can't just step anywhere. Some of these puzzles can be kind of tricky if you don't know what kind of vocabulary they're going with. The sky. Uh, yeah, right there. Like, the sky is a pretty easy start with it. Yeah. Is... Ooh. There's is, two ways it could go from there, though. Is duddy. The sky is dirty. The sky is this dirty, but they spell dirty wrong. D U R D Y. The sky is ruddy? The sky is ruddy. An odd word. Ruddy meaning earthly brownish red. Yeah. It also helps if you notice that there's just enough room on the board to have. The words just barely fit in there. Yeah. Your fate is no. Yeah. The, the sky is fate. Ruddy is. Oh, I see. Wow. Bloody or ah, Don't think you'll be so lucky next time. I'm breaking out my thesaurus. <laughs> you know the others will try to beat us. But it doesn't have to be that way. Look at this soap Not opera. If you and I work together, we can solve Stomp's puzzle. We can win. You can get what you want. What is it that you want? <laughs> Shall I try to guess? Would you like to see my persona? I know where the puzzles are to be solved. Uh -huh. I know where the puzzles are. I'll take you there. But first... I will give you everything. I will give you what you want. So what was it like modeling for Jessica Rabbit? <laughs> Why did he turn into a goat? As a jackass. Oh. Uh, also, here's the awkward part where your parent walks uh, into you playing this game. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it goes on for an uncomfortably long time. Uh, no, she sounds pretty comfortable. Uh, uh, Still going. Okay. And of course, it's still clickable in case you want it again. <laughs> I do. Oh. Well, that moment has passed. Nah. It's fun while it lasted. It was it good for you too, Levi? No. It's <sighs> what they all say. Oh, it's so. Beautiful. 
and look at this social studies oh, teacher. <laughs> it's a maze. That's too specific. I remember doing something well, like look this at her. Are you going to say I'm wrong? Girl, I mean, you have to follow it all no. the way to the center. Uh, is this that scary maze or just a regular one? It's both. Oh god. But there's a puzzle underneath it. Oh. Don't you just love surprises? So this is pretty similar to the Queen's puzzle from earlier. <clears throat> yeah. Here we have to move the bishops to the opposite side, so we have to get all the white bishops on the left side and all the black bishops on the right side. Yeah. And you can't place them in any point where they can be captured. Kind of figured that's what was going Which on. Which yeah. I go now? Hmm. And this one can take you a minute if you don't know the exact solution. Which way should I go now? What you should be trying to do is to try to get all of the same colored tiled pieces uh, shipped it over first. So all the, all the black tiles first. Yeah, all the pieces on the black tiles first and all the pieces on the white tiles. Because the pieces on the white tiles can't capture the pieces on black tile right. and vice versa. So it gives you less to work with. Hmm. <laughs> see it, uh, I see it takes a little while. Yeah, that squeaking is Ego saying, which way should I go which now? Which way should I go now? I heard him say that. Yeah. In the crossfade because that's just how long this needs to be. Go now? That's okay. Where should I go now? We made it eventually. You, we did it. <laughs> no. Yes. No scene for that one. Hmm. But I did want to take a closer look at this rug, cause uh huh, cause it's a maze. The entrance and exit are a bit hard to see, but they're both over on the right side near the middle, like right next to each other. I didn't see. It's well. a, it's okay. I have it uh, not memorized, but I have a solution with uh, in my head. Okay, good. This is actually one of my favorite paintings. Uh, it's one of four variations of a painting called The Nightmare. Uh -huh. And uh, how familiar are you with sleep paralysis? Pretty familiar, yeah. I know how it works. Mm -hmm. So basically... The demon on your chest. So basically, uh, your body makes it so you can't move while you're asleep. So you can't do something like swing your arm up while you're dreaming and smack yourself in the face or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and it prevents stuff like sleepwalking. And, but if you wake up while still under the effects of sleep paralysis, oh, hold on. Since she's in a mirror, all her talking is reverse. But I went ahead and uh, reversed it. Weird. I don't know how people were supposed to be able to figure out what that message was back in the day. I see that we're uh, moving yeah. ahead a little bit. Yeah, moving around can be a little bit slow. There's a woman in white again. Oh yeah, back in the old days, people didn't really understand sleep paralysis, so you would just wake up and not be able to move at all. So, hey, demon on your chest. Yeah, I've heard about that. Um, there are even people, uh, um, accounts of people that were... Uh, hallucinating while they were asleep, still kind of in a dreamlike state, and seeing the oh, yes. on their chest. Oh yeah, that's very common with uh, when you're suffering from sleep paralysis while mm -hmm. awake. Mm -hmm. I've had that happen before. I've seen things while I was asleep or awake because I was still kind of dreaming. Yeah, I had that happen to me before. I had a dream where I was in this room right now, and I thought there was a very large beam across the ceiling, mm -hmm. which you can see there isn't. Yeah, your ceiling's pretty beamless. And I thought there was an R-O-U-S on it. Here's a picture of Levi's ceiling. No. I, it's a an R-O-U-S being a rodent of unusual size. Yes. Mm -hmm. We and, covered those. And so obviously my first instinct was to start grabbing shit off of my bed and start just chucking it at the ceiling. Did that work? 
I mean, it made the illusion go away. <laughs> All the seven guests have gathered. You must figure out what I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. And mind you, the others are also working at the same task. <laughs> it may all depend on who has the greatest need, or who is the bravest. There are clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh. I mean, you may your host, Henry Stouff. How spooky. Yes, this is it. No, it isn't. <laughs> that could have been more stilted. <laughs> Yes, this I is feel. it. No, it isn't. <laughs> Lady, I get it. But do you though? I get that she doesn't get. Your turn, I guess. Yeah, the best puzzle. Lord. One of the most infamous puzzles in the game, and one of my favorite. I remember playing this recently. I remember not being able to do this one. Solve the soup cans, motherfucker! You have to spell a sentence with them. But all you have is wise. So, from a certain point of view, you technically only have consonants. Right. But I don't speak Icelandic. <clears throat> the easiest way to say yee is to say yee. The fuck is that? <laughs> uh, video I have to show you later. Okay, There's I'll keep that in mind. Cans. Ah, yes. Yeah. Cly. See, what I like to do is get all the Y's into position first. Hmm. Good old Mipsy. Mipsy! Mipsy! M Mipsy Yeeby. Do we have a Mipsy Yeeby? <laughs> I don't think you can do this. I mean, it was kind of hard to find the puzzle. You could have at least left the door ajar. It's a door of can. It's a door of cans. Please let me have this. I guess just this one time you can. <laughs> I get it. I get because it's it's what's on the TV screen. Where should I put this? Uh, uh, here. <laughs> kind of dangerous putting your medicine in with your all your food cans. I see. Yeah. But why? Okay. Why is the medicine in a fucking can? Olden times. Keep it fresh. Um. Use your can of insulin. <laughs> Can opener's not working, and you just gotta go. Oh, well, this is the end. I know you need your heart medicine, but don't have a can opener, man. I mean, look, I already know what this is supposed to spell. Yeah, it 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 looks like a mess right now, but it is like eighty five percent of the way done. Yeah. Almost done. 
The worst part is that you have to know what the word tryst is. Yeah. Shy, gypsy, slyly, spryly, tryst by my crypt. Yes. I didn't know that tryst could be a verb, so... It's like how meat can be both a noun and a verb. Hmm, yeah. Wait, what kind of meat? <laughs> like, a, like a sports meat. Oh, so not like a meat meat. Hmm. No, not the meat that you eat out of a can. In Hawaii. So I, for like a single frame, I moused over a scene. Don't worry, we're getting that later on. Okay. I wasn't worried. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, I'm <laughs> dying to see what you'll do next. A puzzle that makes everyone recoil in horror. A sliding puzzle. The easiest baby sliding puzzle possible. Finding things a little grating. With the violin, uh, sure. So this is real easy. You just have to kind of think of it as a snake. Nothing ever seems to slide. You have the head and you have the tail, and you want to have the head move in a position and have the tail fall behind it. Okay. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, I it's done. To get around this grade, I'll need to get around. Ego, shut up. We got it. I do like the spikes uh, explaining why exactly you can't just go. Yeah. I have a bad feeling. Now we're on your favorite part. No, not at all. I remember this spooky puzzle from when I was but a wee lad. I'm watching my mom do it, and it scared the crap out of me. Look! Scary ghost! Back on you for beckoning you further into the scary fucking Windows 95 screensaver. Hmm. Yeah, we just need to find the point where we can flip everything upside down. Yeah. So yeah, this maze is also the maze that's on the carpet. Yeah, I figured that when you were like looking at it. You can do the left hand rule to get through this, but it takes absolutely forever. Yeah? It's specifically designed to screw you up if you try that. I bet, I bet, yeah, I was thinking that. It, it's a lot like the minecart maze in uh, Mist. Oh, I, I'm gonna take your word for it. Mm -hmm. So the trick here is just the exit is straight ahead of you. No. <laughs> That's what it seems so far. The trick is that the uh, the main thing you have to remember is that the exit is the second to last on the right. That will start actually putting you on the right route. Okay. So you just have to go forward until you hit a T-junction, like there. Yeah. And you can't turn completely around, so you just have to remember which way you came from. Feeling lonely. Oh, hate that. The spooky monster music, and he says that, and mm -hmm. then it's the slowest jump scare in history. But you know what? It's terrifying because you don't know what's coming. So now that we hit that, we just need to take the first left. And just keep in mind that the exit is going to be over to the right of where we were positioned right now. So you just want to go right. Uh, knock it off. Hmm. This is way too scary. They do a good job of making you feel lost with having everything look the same, but also uh, I know that it's also to uh, keep uh, uh, resource you slow by reusing the same stuff over and over again. Uh, he did the thing again. Mm hmm. Good old claustrophobia. It's so simple. It's so simple, but boy, did that scare the shit out of me. There's absolutely nothing, but you're constantly expecting something. I know. Because you can only see five feet in front of you. It's good old Texas Chainsaw Massacre rules. 
Ooh, I've lost my sense of direction now. I don't know where we are anymore. And the exit is uh, in front of us, vaguely. Okay. Vaguely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, there's more twists and turns. <laughs> there are never any monsters in this maze, right? But boy, do you think there's going to be monsters in the maze. Maybe the lady in white counts? Getting warmer. See, I used to think of the lady in white. Feeling <laughs> lonely. I used to think that the lady in, light, in white was a ghost, which, I mean, she is. Mm -hmm. But, like, yep. like I, so I, I guess I remember watching my mom do this and then, like, seeing her and be like, there are monsters in here. So I was waiting for monsters because I saw her. Mm -hmm. No, I well, think I think we've talked about this before on the channel, but if we want to talk about terrifying mazes in like this, then the Goosebumps game on the computer mm -hmm. from like 1994, 95 is fucking terrifying. With the, the the maze is completely optional. It's the scariest thing in the world. Don't think you'll be so lucky next time. What were you gonna say? <laughs> well, you already knew that at least one thing was down there. What? The ghost lady. Oh yeah. Which and this leads us to straight into our next puzzle, which is always randomized every single time you load it up. Huh. You know those uh, games where you there's a light up squares and whenever you hit a button it lights up or turns off the lights of all the squares around it. Yeah. That's what this is. Although it's a weird variation. Yeah. If if you hit one of the uh, center ones on you know, one of the sides. It uh, opens or closes the three on that side. So hitting that one uh, flips the middle right, middle top, and middle bottom. Or far right, far top, and far bottom. But the point is to <clears throat> close them or open them? Close them all. If you do a corner, it'll open up that corner one and all three around it. And the middle one too, yeah. And the middle uh, flips all of them in a cross. Okay. <clears throat> huh. Usually when you get a uh, recognizable pattern like that, it's usually a matter of just nudging things around. I see. I think you got it this time. No? Your symmetry Almost. is your fan. Nope, we got it. Now it's just uh, top middle and bottom middle. Oh. Oh, we're trying to close them. I'm so dumb. Yep. Yes, we are trying to close them. Because if we go down there before closing them, all the spooky sculptons jump out and start dancing. That's that's scary. They would need music though. Music about skeletons. Too bad I don't know any. What the fuck? Well, no! he's just dead. Uh. Is she supposed to do that? Um, no, she's not. She okay? That's a good question, actually. Because there are several scenes in this game, and it's implied that they're all ghosts and you're seeing whatever happened. But the thing is, you see certain characters die or at least get into a situation they shouldn't be able to get out of several times. Huh. Like that? So, we're back in the library. No, that was a fade there, because you walked all the way back and you didn't want to show all that, right? Yeah, I, it was a... We already been in this room, so I didn't think to come back immediately, so it was wandering around the entire house trying to figure out what's different. Okay. Like some mad quiet. Well, I heard nothing, except you rummaging around your room, yelling like a crazy man. And I... Why, well, I saw blood. <laughs> I don't know how to describe what I saw. Why, none of you has ever seen None of the rest of us saw anything. How boring. I suggest we all leave and have some supper. I think that we were meant to eat the soup. Wait, wait. We need some rules. We need to stick together. Play as a team. No. Don't be such a bore, darling. <laughs> it's a game. 
That's why we're invited. It's a game. Everyone for himself. It's being sold on CD-ROM. <laughs> crazy old stuff is watching us, staring us, watching us play at his puzzles. Only he knows Only Starf knows the rules. Rules. So a big part of the mystery here is trying to figure out the exact timeline of events of what happened. Okay. But it's really not that important because by the time you reach the end of the game, it's obvious who is an asshole and who isn't. I mean, like, that one lady turned into a monster, so... So, color's kind of shown. Yeah. <laughs> Cards on the table... Or coins. Do the Shakespeare. No, oh, never mind. It's a Nazi. Oh wait, it's going the other oh, way. It's okay. Oh, I'm dying to see what you will do next. There's a lot of coins. What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to flip them all over. Okay. The trick is that you can only, uh, besides the first one, you can only flip ones that are in a straight line from that one. Oh. Hmm. Boy, I'm getting really lucky with revealing these. <laughs> so yeah, see there, there's nowhere for me to go, so I have to start over. Yeah. I'm going to have to start again. Um. Oh, I see it. You gotta go around the outside. Yeah, you just gotta walk down the stairwell and then walk back up. Yeah. Curses! Foiled again. Up and down. But now you got to do the Nazi one. I mean, the not not that one. The Nazi. Yeah, the not Nazi. Uh huh. Hmm. A leap of intuition to unhide them in sequential order. Nope. Mm. Can't do diagonals. But you can you can skip over ones, right? I'm going to have to start again. All right, this time I should get it. It's those weird ones over to the side that are tripping me up. So there's a good number of strategies you can find and you can go just with whichever one you feel like. Quit trying to steal the money from the game! Oh. But he loves money! There must be at least six thousand dollars here. No, it was poison money. <laughs> what? What's going on? Does he melt? A little bit. Oh shit! Acid money. A secret room. This is the puzzle that Stop set out. And I sold it. How is it secret? The door's right there. You know, if he had just taken the coins off the top of the box instead of trying to open it, then he would have got to keep that money. Like five bucks. <laughs> 